<laughs> All right, we are live, folks, and here we go. Oh, and uh, Matt, to answer your question, uh, somewhat. I can understand it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Why do I always be, get blamed for the for the, for the ideas for this for these episodes? I wonder why. <laughs> because I'm the I'm the one that suggests them. I know. I know. Yeah. All right, you. He suggested him, and it's his, it's his fault. <laughs> All right, I think we should go in order. So let's see. So we'll go 13, 18, 30, or 32. Now, bear in mind, folks, that I um, I picked these episodes. The only one that I really even picked because I had any aforementioned knowledge on was number 18. Ah, uh, yes, that one. <laughs> but the other ones, I, uh, I no, I take that back. Number thirty, I did have as well. You can thank Deeper Cut for that one, for both of them actually. But anyway, I just picked these more or less at random. I wasn't trying to go for anything um, to the story or had a heavy focus on the story. I was just going for. You mean this? Ha- you mean this had a story? Well, I just, okay, thought, fair enough. I just thought. I just thought some people in France were taking a lot of very heavy drugs and thought. <sighs> Eh, I think we'll put this in uh, in for a Sonic cartoon. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny because uh, I didn't mean to cut you, interrupt you there, Ellie. But to follow up with Matt said right before, uh, right before we right before we start, I just watched the 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 I have the entire this entire series on DVD, and I was watching the uh, the interview with the executive producer, and he and it. With the executive producer, and he said the whole reason they came up with this show was like, oh, we wanted to take Sonic in a new direction, so, well, musical shows like Alvin and the Chipmunks was was, was such a big success, so why we decided to just slap that on Sonic and thought, thought that would work. Oh, yeah, because clearly copying and pasting something is always going to work. You know, this brings <laughs> up an interesting point. I actually don't hate it when people try new things with characters. I really don't. The problem is, is this is more often than not what we get, where it's uninspired, unoriginal, and downright painful just to sit through. I don't mind an established character uh, being changed up if they've been around for a long time. That that doesn't bother me, because to be fair, it's better than it being stale. But that, that's, my, that's my point. That's my point. Look at the uh, TMNT series on uh, Nickelodeon, the new one. Yeah, I watched that. I love that series. You know why? They stick relatively faithful to the franchise, but they also take some creative liberties. They do things to change things up that make it feel very fresh. I like them for doing that. I have to admit, um, the the way that they took this direction was rather... How can I say this? Terrible. It was it was Contrived. different. <laughs> it was different. I'll say that. The thing is, is that taking it in a different direction and pulling it off successfully in a good way are two very different things. I applaud them for taking, you know, for having the courage, the gut to try something, but at the same time. You know, you kind of have to admit that, you know, what you have is bad. Uh-huh. Can I just say I want to um, sack the voice director that thought it was a really great idea to have Jaleel White voice a girl? I'm going to bet five <laughs> bucks. I would bet so much money on that. Not five bucks. More than that. Far more than that. That here's what it was. Well, uh, the budget doesn't call for it. Or we can't. We can't pay a female to voice this. I'm sorry. So, Jaleel, you're just going to have to uh, try it. What, female uh, voice actors cost more than male ones? No, they just couldn't afford anything other than just Jaleel White. That's my point. That's the point what's I was even, trying to get at. What's even stupider, though, oh, we, uh, what I don't understand is why they had Jill voice the girl, and because they had a girl doing her singing voice, so why didn't they also have her doing the speaking? <laughs> <laughs> why don't we get started, folks? Because uh, otherwise we're going to be uh, here all day. So, yeah. Number 13. So that, this is likely to be here all day as it is. This is winner <laughs> fakes all, isn't it? Yep. Number 13. Winner okay. fakes all. All right. 
All right. You guys ready? I am ready. Yep. On one. Three. Two. One. And the introduction music. Whitey. Whitey feels whitey. I swear to God, I can't believe I had to download this stuff. It just feels like, wow, I actually had to go through with it. Yeah. Surely you should have been thinking that when we were doing G3.6, to be fair. You know, I, I, that's not so bad to me, because I expected this to I will have to admit, the animation's not that bad. Considering what we watched here before, this is actually really good. <laughs> this is the intro, to be fair. Point taken, yes. Nothing it's will ever, like a... I don't think anything will ever top the line of this thing for us. I really don't. Unless we watch something that's just... Unless we watch something that's just... That's a bunch of still images to the voices. <laughs> Isn't that a Christmas tree? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they're the voice acting is terrible. Mm -hmm. We all feel proud we of We had no lip syncing in um, G3.6, so I think we pretty much had the broad spectrum of bad animation. Too much pride yeah. can be a terrible trap. Another load of formerly animation is still decent, I'd say, here in the side. actual episode. Yeah, the I animation isn't, wait. from what I've seen, isn't the bad <laughs> Most of the terribleness comes later, you'll see. I do have to ask though, in all of the voice actors we've ever seen in any Sonic fandom, why is it always Eggman's voice actor or Robotnik's voice actor that's always the best in these sort of situations? Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> you like Not that I'm... He's always Man, the best in the worst. I never thought I'd do a gig working on trucks. Eggman Robotnik are the worst, are in the worst series. No, that's not true, because Sonic 06, he really was pretty awful awesome in that as well as looking <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> What's wrong with that Although that was Mike Pollock, so Ooh, but he he was told to downplay the campiness, Stay which was basically what ruined it, really. Because <laughs> the campiness is what makes Mike Pollock sick, man. Well, I believe uh, Jim Cummings was the one who voiced this uh, for this particular series, wasn't it? No, uh, it's Gary. Ch it's Gary Chalk, Gary Chalk Optimus Prime. Prime. Yeah. Gary yeah. Chalk did this one. It was. I'm thinking Jim of did the Saturday. Saturday yeah. 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 Saturday morning was Jim Cummings, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm that fond of Charles for a bonding, though. I don't think so. Wow. I'm just thinking, I wonder if they got some of these ideas from like things like Jim and the Holograms. <laughs> 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 It's amazing to think that that's actually getting a film this year, and in fact from the same label that will bring us the MLP movie in two years' time. Work to girl first. Your parents should be more, huh? Careful. Whoa! What an. Okay, that was just random. That was crazy. Hammer space buggy. Dingo. Hang on, maybe the buggy's alive. That. That has to be yes, because the bug the buggy is dingo can morph into stuff. Oh my god, so we've had Jim Jim and the holograms, Transformers, how's Bro go through something? This way, Manny! Now we need a um, lightsaber, and the circle will be complete. Well, to be fair, the setting of this seems very much like the um, Saturday I, um, the Sat um, um, cartoon anyway. You know, quite dystopian. I wouldn't be shocked if that's what they were trying to emulate. Avoid a cruising Bruce. Yeah, they, I think they were here, I guess. Huh, I'll have to blast the door and yeah, it's got a goofy premise like it, it, as if it was Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. So it's like basically those two shows having a love child. <laughs> and guess what? It, it works. <laughs> Poor dudes. Robotnik's I'm gonna got admit, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog is a massive guilty pleasure. I know it's not good, Those I know it's stupid, uniforms. but I still oh, love it. It's just, it's just like nostalgia, I mean, you know. 
back when I really was a huge Sega nut, it's just uh, for weeks I've been roboticizing you can't, you can't the be a bit of goofy I could find rubbish sometimes. To create the key to capturing Sonic. Yeah, you, you can definitely see the sad AM ins inspirations because Robotnik's Fortress looks exactly Behold, like the sad AM the one here. No, yeah, it's just that statue of him saying Nothing that he's number is as one. fast as Sonic. The <laughs> speed bot is only bait for the trap. No, he needs to tattoo Ooh. the word hate on his face. That's Citizens you. Yep. of Mobius. To prove that he's the fastest Citizens being on of the Mobius. planet, my Tonight speed bot TV. will race More all robotic. challengers. The winner will receive no, break a dancing big, man. big prize. <laughs> and, then big, big. and then live dude Robotnik. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. <laughs> they say television adds 10 pounds to you. You look fabulous, your evilness. And may I say I'm sorry for putting that male image bad. in people's heads. You never suspect the race is a trap. You mean it's a trap? Well, okay, uh, not, not Dingo, the uh, not the orange one, but well, what was the other? Everyone sleek, slate, sleek, sleek. Okay, but he's so I, I definitely can tell a Peter Lorre type inspiration for him. Uh, yeah, I think that's my that's my race Lamar doing a Peter Lorre impression. <laughs> wow, someone that talented on something that's such an utter waste of rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they got him to do his awesome Wells impression in this. Uh, no, but I think he did a Sean Connery impression in a later app. Sorry, sorry, Manic, but you're no Pinkie Pie on the drums. All comers to raise his new speed bot. Yeah, right. It's a trap. Uh, she's right, bro. It's, it's a, trap. a trap. It's a trap. It's a chill pill, sis. I'm surprised that Maurice LaMarche is in this because as I think he's the only non-Canadian voice actor outside Jill White in this. Don't expect me and Manic to come save you. Big, 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 wine, wine, wine. I'm the token female character. That is sadly Sonya throughout all of this. But it's never yeah, that's pretty much. That that's pretty apt. I'll show him who's. She's bad. basically sounds like a female Urkel. <laughs> I don't I'm know sure whether that's, that's, that's a compliment or what to Julia White to do a uh, <laughs> to do a female version of his own of his own self. I actually legitimately wonder how he felt oh, about man, having to do that. Time. Or at least find a better rhythm. Hey, he probably just cared about the fact that he was getting a paycheck. To be honest. My eye. Somebody's gonna pay. <laughs> It was like, people hey, still remember Sonic? I'm still getting paid for this? He's gonna have sawdust in his bed, too. I knew it. Well, Jill so gladly did the interview for the Sad AM DVD, and he seemed, he still seemed it talk, talking proudly of it there, so. Well, I can understand why they made Sad AM. This, on the other hand. <laughs> you always mean everything you say? The only thing I will say is, well, he, I think he yeah. is genuinely a Sonic fan himself, though. I mean, he even voiced in that um, fan project that came out, was it last year, year before that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, remember seeing that. Sounded, he, he definitely sounded older. Actually, yeah, that is probably rich material, just how awful that is. <laughs> Live action <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Definitely. A film, a film we might a actually song. see in real life, yes, seeing as Sony Pictures actually has uh, some early drafting for a Sonic film and if it's I'm anything like like you know today. the Smurfs or the Alvin and the Chipmunks <laughs> <laughs> let's just say if that ever comes is that? Get paid. <gasps> what's the point of this scene is this just Sonic is fast yo <laughs> Oh my god, these episodes are 22 minutes long. How? I think Sonic was rushing in there to get the salon to get the skies or something. Now he cross dresses again like in Adventures. I'd better just. But even, but even, but even, but even more worse than he did in that. At least he didn't wink to us to say, look, it's me in a disguise. Me, like in that show. Can you tell me if I'm a dangerous member of the anti robotnik underground? I am unable to identify you. Cool. Wow, that scanning device really needs an upgrade. <laughs> I will not question your weird, your weird cross-dressing yeah. sexual tastes. Innocence is against the At least the you law. can't say that this um, cartoon isn't inclusionary. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine I have never heard. Up, folks. It's just like I the one in Super Mario. 
Gotta run! <laughs> yeah, because I've seen that in like every single Sonic game I've ever played. I also love how he actually goes to the trouble of making a disguise only to like discard it like less than a minute later. Two seconds later, yeah. <laughs> Hey, at least he didn't nice. point to, uh, yeah. to over there saying, hey, I'm over there, and the, the robot confirm. thinks he was over there. Uh, I will Sonic never get over time. that. And you're history, bothead. <laughs> I just love the flames that come out from underneath whenever he runs in this car, too. That must get uncomfortable for his like feet. I'm sure they must I get rather hot. Like well, see, there's a Back to the Future reference here somewhere. I guess Sonya was right about that race. And I was wrong. I see no hoverboards, so though. If only. Sonic hits 88. When Sonic hits 88, you're going to see some serious shit. <laughs> Anybody home? Hmm. Must have run out for some black Oh, God. Machine. Aliens and Sonic games. Yeah, because they mix well. Good time to nail some new tunes. Well, might as well practice. Sonic being patient? What's that? Oh no! Well, at least being mopey like he's an ex. Yeah. <laughs> These fools will clap even louder when Sonic is captured and the resistance destroyed. Keep a sharp lookout. Don't okay, let the Sonic animation there was very fingers. good on, um, oh, on uh, Robotnik there. This thing is uh, pretty sticky. Come on, you flea brain. It's okay. They rounded up people in dump bots just to fill the stands. Sorry, Jalil, but Manic just sounds just very similar to Sonic. Oh, look. It's the people for the quick you there. <laughs> you don't expect me to sit in bleachers, do you? So, yes, we're I in want... that crowd. <gasps> I was just going to say, no wonder my ass cheeks felt yeah. really sore. It's Bartleby. <laughs> but who's that woman he's with? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he kind of reminds me of Jeffrey St. John. You sound jealous. <laughs> I am not jealous. Why should I care if Bartleby takes someone else to this stupid race? Now go get their tickets. I'm only Someone's here because echoing. I was personally invited by Dr. Robotnik. Mm, it's not me. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Um, coming through, coming through. Calm I don't think so. Anyway. No, I don't think it's me. I can, I can hear Is the it? echo of my headset. Your tickets. It's not me, is it? I just turned, turned mine down. I, wanna... I seem to have misplaced our tickets. No tickets. Yeah, it does seem a hey, bit better now. Okay, maybe it was my fault. Sorry. Ooh, a private box. And it's right on the starting line, too. That noise. Whoa. Wow, they're really they digging deep right when they try to bring Grounder skybox. back. To be fair, I find Grounder's voice slightly less annoying than Scratch's, so... Enter you in the race, yeah, I would. So you can I keep agree. an eye on Sonic. Well, why not bring Grounder back, as you know? Uh, oh, oh, Gary hmm. Chawler did that too, not so... Not really you. Not the front half, anyway. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Cheaters are fast, but Sonic might spot you. Uh, did, did he just transform what I thought he transformed that just then? Uh, what the fuck? Mm. Over. Oops. Yikes. Right. Hmm. What if Sonic okay. wears a disguise? Okay. Well, I know it's him. Oh. Flashy colors, weird objects. The SWAT bots have orders to attack the winner of the race. Anyone else on something or is it just me? That's I wish I could was on something. I, I decided to be very calm and collected and just have water. Good water, mind you. Go this good water we'll is brought to you him. by Cinema Equestria. Cinema Equestria, we want you. No, really, we do. Come, go, go to our homepage. We, we really do want some staff. After watching more of this, we're probably going to have to switch to good beer. <laughs> to the first ever Mobius Challenge Race. The race that will Sponsored prove who is truly the uh, fastest being on Mobius. Well, we don't have any sponsors. And which but... one of them is oh, well. Sonic in disguise? I bet you 10,000 Mobiums that Sonic is the ugly one in the dress. 
That's no, ten that's thousand. Just your, maybe. That's just your, that's just your <laughs> mom robot. Too bad we didn't shake hands on it. <laughs> <laughs> What, his mum is a ten mo ten thousand dollar Mobium bill? To be fair, that's probably one of the least cra less crazier things in this. No, no, I was referring to he said the ugly one in the dress. That's what I was. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> well, we asked the same robotics mom, and I'm an adventure, and she's pretty ugly, and she's, she even has the dang mustache. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Self-destruct activated. Robotnik Speedbot is in the lead. I keep forgetting Sign how stupid cool. Manix design was. I mean, seriously, <laughs> it, they, they really did over-design that hit the top of his Maybe head. I just watch the race. The Sonic, you gonna do did. anything? No, you're gonna watch really TV. Fine, fair to be the fastest being on Mobius. No, it was just. Hey, no uh, biggie. I know who's really the fastest, oh, and he's in nobody's butt. Nothing but a. Uh, Sonic, uh, literal Sonic clone. Bummer, May Horace. Sonya and Mick must think I'm huh? at the race. What, Bubsy? They That's walk a Sonic in a bunch of Yeah, but no, I mean, they just took Sonic's design and did as you said. Screwed up his, uh, design. Uh-oh, uh Sonic. They have some, they have some here. banjos on here. That's, I love that. I'm sorry for cutting y'all <laughs> off. Fun. I hear banjos and I'm like suddenly thinking, oh no. This reused animation, reused animation is going on here, by the way. But here's the song. <laughs> Run, sister! I hear banjos in bed singing! And Jill, bad singing. Funny enough, they said Jill White couldn't sing, so they tried to get somebody who, sat, who could sound like Sonic and sing better, but apparently they failed. Yeah, actually, I think Sonic's scene voice is Sam Vincent, who was also Double D. <laughs> the lyrics for these songs, I was actually, again, watching the DVD interview with the guy who wrote these songs, and apparently these took him three hours to write. What, it took him two, wait, it took him two hours and 50 minutes to find a pen. <laughs> I don't belong here. Actually, I think he said some days he would take it would it would take he'd go in at 9 p.m. and it would finish at 5 a.m. because he'd do I think he'd do the music first and then and he'd spend the three hours writing the lyrics. I told you that was Sonic. Whoopee! Hooray! Woo I won! I won! <laughs> I won! What do I win? You get to watch the rest of this crappy cartoon. Damn! <laughs> Dingo won the race! Talk about your plan backfiring on you. Like always. Was that a panty shot? Yes, it was, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or cry. To be fair, but playing as Amy in Sonic Adventure involves a lot of panty shots, so... Except it's, it's not... Like a, it's except there it's not an ugly... It's not an ugly guy I, I disguised as a woman. That's what makes this more disturbing. Eh, Troy. I didn't know you cared. Of course we care. You're... Huh? Oh. Brother? Chill out, sis. The big bro with the big mo is here. If you're Sonic, then who is that? <laughs> da 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 da. I don't think drums work that way. Well, I think it's it's Manic's super powered in, weapon instrument drum, considering that Sonic and Sonya's instruments shoot lasers, so why not? It's a laser. Let's keep riding forever, Sonya. Oh, yeah! Yeah, good. Behold the power of Dosa's Machina. Buy our toy. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. I'm too stupid. 
Actually, I wonder if there ever was they ever, did they ever consider doing like Sonic Underground merchandise. You know, like singing dolls and Stop you know musical sweet. instruments based Don't around like the instruments they have in the show. So much for oh, my soul. Oh, 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 oh. Who doesn't like a um? You know those? Oh, wait, there's our hoverboard. Damn it! Now I actually have to like this. Close the gate. <laughs> Trapped yeah. in the anyway, stadium. They've got those doll movies they can sing and the doll will sing it along with it as if you were dead or something. Me. Are you serious? So, You're put, so slow, uh, I can get away from you with my eyes closed. There, and have them actually sing something I wouldn't make decent. you mad, Sonic. Take your best shot <laughs> while I'm not looking. I'm not really against Sonic being in a band. I mean, he was originally going to be in a band in the original video game. In fact, uh, early prototypes of the very first game, the sound test menu was going to actually have him uh, playing um, uh, guitar, with, uh, or at least be lead singer, and then I believe the very early prototype for Vector the Crocodile um, was going to be one of the characters in said band in the um, sound oh, yeah. test for the game. Oh, but obviously that got scrapped oh. in the end. Yeah. He was also supposed to have a human girlfriend named Madonna as well, so... Yeah, because, you know, human human love interest with Sonic really was going to go on well later on. Yeah. yeah. Know, right? no, I'm not just the fastest thing on Mobius. Yes, that worked out really well. I'm too big to hey, that was your reward yes, for completing the three main stories, Mr. Ben. I'm sure you really enjoyed that. <laughs> and watch me haul some hypersonic haunch. Watch me haul some That's hypersonic bro. ass. Never too tired to be himself. Right, juice! Oh, you're juicing, all right. Oh, is that the end? So what did we learn here? Um, yeah, I know, right? It needs, the it, instruments it, it, Dear Princess Celestia, I didn't learn anything! No, <laughs> no, it has to be a panic set. Oh. We know that. Dear Queen Alina, I didn't learn, learn anything. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, hey kids, don't climb in a tumble dryer after watching this show because that's no good. <laughs> uh, again, don't cry, don't climb into a um a washing machine. What? Okay, that's terrifying. The yeah. very end of the episode had Cookie Jar. Well, I'll we be... all know who owns Cookie Jar now, don't we? I'll be right back. DHX. Yes, indeed, indeedly so. So technically, we could have an MLP Sonic Underground crossover, although Sega would have to agree to it and Hasbro. So yeah, the chances are like zero. But hey, it could happen in theory. Only on the hub. Oh wait, that slogan doesn't exist anymore. Hey, it would probably work uh, if it was shown on Pop, because the scary thing is, Pop here in the UK used to show Sonic Underground quite a bit. Okay, this call is going to be the death of me. But anyway, I'm back. Let's see, it's the next episode, friend or foe. Uh-huh. All right, I was just sw I was swapping discs. I'm on the episode now. All right. Yeah, it's, I've got it ready whenever you guys are. I'm ready I'll as just, well. Yep, I've just swapped over. Anything to say about the last one? <sighs> you notice, you know, Robonics said, Robonics said it was a speed bot, but it looked like a friggin' snail. <laughs> <laughs> Irony. What's that? <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I am ready to fight robots! <laughs> and my happy shows. And Echidnas and Snuggles is in this one. These more blockles, if you ask me. Blockles. Hey, as long as he's not muscle, think not not think uh, muscles the thing, um, fingers the muscles in uh, fingers the show. muscles, fingers what? the steroids. <laughs> Seriously, anyway. man, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, son Knuckle Sonic Boom thing is like someone just took his D and D sheet and just totally min maxed him on that. <laughs> But yeah, they just—they just—they were like, "Hey, if we just balloon him out like this, look how ridiculous he looks." Someone came into the office that day and said, "That is the new design for Knuckles the Echidna." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. I was—I was listening to the guy who did the uh, uh, the guy I buy inside boom and saying, hey, you know, "All the changes we made to 
oh, I can't remember his exact words, but he said, we made sure every every change we were making to the characters was going to be important and, and, and vital. That includes all the darn sports tape we have all over them. <laughs> I was just going to say, so is the sports tape going to be plot important later on in the show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was watching a video, video of the guy, of uh, the guy giving the interview, but the guy who did the video edited, edited, edited to show all the stuff that contradicted what he said. Like when he said every ch every change we made to the characters is vital. The person who edited together was showing close ups of, of the sports tape. <laughs> <laughs> we designed uh, these. We're gonna show them off. God damn it! <laughs> all right. You guys ready? Yeah. Many as I'll yeah. ever be. Yeah, I know, right? But work with me here. Anyway, um, episode 18, friend or foe, on one, three, two, one. And we get to watch the intro again. Yeah, that's on all of them. Yeah. I mean, these were actually recorded properly and weren't actually like two 11 minute short shorts switched together like Sponge Bill. <laughs> or Sonic Boom. <laughs> oh, Sonic Boom's hand, hand, how's my top network of hand things has been terrible? It's just like when the French TV network has been showing the show much better. Actually, it's kind of a mention that you you uh, mentioned that, like Sonic Boom, this is actually also French made as well. Uh, the, oh, yeah. <laughs> the original title for this was uh, Sonic Le Rebel yep, in bad. French. Oh, yeah. overground. I long for my children, but I have to wait. I think they, no they named it Sonic Underground, but I think the producer said that they were trying I mean, to make a. But they wanted Sonic to be in an underground band, so they so they wanted some like Velvet Underground. That was their inspiration for the name. I know. I just had to say it. Yeah, I know. Butterflies, oh, no butterflies. butterflies. My children yeah. continue am I, am to I not watching one MLP? That things are not always what they seem. <laughs> Hang loose, well, Sonia. It's just a rumor. Dad. But what if Mother really is here? Oh, oh, oh. She better be. There's one scene that's I missed the opening of a new chili dog stand I for this. You that. Well, so long as it's not nasty like Spinjo was last week. Don't worry. <laughs> that, um, Ooh, won't have I'm that. scared. Not that I know of, anyway. Sonic, remember what the Oracle said. The floating island is fraught with danger. Beware mm. the echidna. Fraught. What kind of stupid word is, is that? Is the Oracle just like the Oracle in the Matrix? In with danger. I wish. If you're so fraught, there was that weird dirt ant green long nose ant green long nose thing we saw in the opening. <gasps> hey, at least you get a free cookie out if you go and see the Oracle from the Matrix. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Huh? Also, is this another out, Star Wars like reference? Said, How many am I going to make you today? Danger. Can I just say, is Sonic just completely and utterly friggin' useless in this show? The previous episode, he was sitting around doing bugger all, and now he's got himself in a trap within two and a half minutes. Mmm, tuna fish, my favorite. It's like Sonic 06 all over again, because he's like barely important to the plot in that either. Do you hear me? Answer me or your butt bent! Huh? I think he's more useful here than Sonic 06. My stomach is really growling. Yeah. We just, we just haven't like seen any good examples of it yet. You are so stupid. You are so stupid. You have I like the way he says that. To answer me. <laughs> ten. me. But I just said, it is Robotnik, you moron. Is that a meatball sub? Where? Seven. <laughs> Under community. I can do it. You have ten do seconds to answer right me. You have One. Five. About oh. time. Four. Again, thank you, Deeper Cut. Is that a robotic Three. plunger? Also, why Ooh, is looks it like it. Hey, hey, robotic plunger for when you have an Eggman-sized turd. <laughs> Where were you? Oh, now I've got Silence. that seed from Austin Powers Apparently, in my head. The hedgehogs are <laughs> the rumors. Intelligence reports they're on the way. If you don't answer you in ten seconds, then the your backpack will explode and you die. And get me the Chaos Emerald. <laughs> and when we take the emerald, the island will plummet down and crash. And the hedgehogs will fall with it. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant plan, sir. We are on our way. Sleet out. 
Put that in your backpack and let's go find the echidna. Uh, what's an echidna? Not what, you dolt. Who? It's who guards this island. His name is Knuckles, and he's in for a big Robotnik surprise. We have to give all this backstory in case you've never played the games known before. For his yeah, I know, right? Or I've never played the game. Uh, you never played the games you before. This is your first time seeing Knuckles, because this is this was his first animated in. debut. And speaking of which, you gonna aid us? What about the no. time he wore a hat? Oh, phew. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. The anime did come out. Uh, well, on oh, DVD yeah, right okay. before. Wait, wait, what was that? What was that whistle? What was that? Oh, that be it looks no, like a For no, so, for so, and for no reason whatsoever, Knuckles has a pet not. dinosaur named Sean here. Of course, all my well, friends sneak onto my island. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. No, you don't understand. I prefer. We I need think to I prefer stop wearing the hat. Invaders. Three hedgehogs. At least I can then say he's a kindred spirit with AJ then. How? Look in my pocket. Pusty. Press that button. Uh, slay. Shut up. The I think I've turned button. my ping off to be slay. fair. Put a cork in it, ding face. Check it out. I get it. Got a cruise, dudes. We gotta find that chaos emerald before that dopey defender Knuckles gets us. You are not often right, older brother. But on this occasion, I agree. We are more clever than that dumb uh, Knuckles Every guy. time that uh, uh, Sonya like speaks, I a little warm here. I'm sorry, but Son <laughs> every time Sonya speaks, I'm sure my eardrums slowly are dying. Those hedgehogs do they? Well, we you'll have to get past emeralds, me. Dude. All right, you won't you face us are free to go right, this time. Brother. But you must like leave the island now. An amiable right. deer, my friend. We would be I'm totally not reading this from a script. <laughs> Turn page. This is totally not a Sorry, fake record, a facsimile recording of them to trick you. Well, to be fair, it is Knuckles, so I'm sure he'll be easy. Nice doggy. Well, Knuckles is known for being easily fooled, so. But what annoys me is that now he's just outright. It's not as bad as the Robotnik playing the um, organ in um, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta find those emeralds. We gotta find those emeralds. We gotta replay this seed. We gotta <laughs> Gotta, gotta, this seed. gotta, gotta. <laughs> Need a dispenser here. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Shh. I'm getting a feeling like there's something close by. Oh, Big Whoop. We're following your feelings around? Boy, it just doesn't get any better than this. Hey, guys! Yeah, because feelings Look are so this. unmasculine, we can't have them in a boy a show. A sacred pool. I know, right? I read about these. Huh? <gasps> Whoa! We're talking Ooh. some serious special effects. I can't believe it really exists. I mean, we, you can't guy. possibly have villains what? in a girl I show having their own funny. media. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> just watch this. Oh, darn it. She's here. I thought it was, I I thought it was the scene where Knuckles, uh, well, that's wow. coming up. Looks like you were right, Sonya. You're saying I'm right? Man, you're a witness. <gasps> you are not often right, older sister, but. Oh, Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Whoa, dude, you nailed that landing. I give it a 10. Yeah, I give Hedgehog it a zero. Thieves. <coughs> Not hey, exactly it, the a landing is still landing. <laughs> Look at this. You Especially the landings when you fall and break every rock. bone in your you body. You came here to steal the emerald, <laughs> but I'll stop you. Chill, fella, we're not thieves. Well, mostly we're not, anyway. Huh? Oh. Nice why, why, you, why does too. this knuckle was remind me of a hot wheels right there? <laughs> Sonic, are you alright? Oh, oh, that guy's audience, good. everyone. Uh, of prepare for one club, of the best Manny. fight scenes you will ever see. Here comes your hero. Uh, after the commercial break. Okay, well, if that's play the, black. the way you want to play it, let's get basic. Sonic, wait! Maybe we can reason with him. Good idea, sis. Not. Here's a taste of the supersonic triple spin, pal. 
What's that? You logic could easily even solve our problem. Nineties? Sir. You guys can jump in here anytime, you know. Uh we knew you had it covered. The hedgehog. This Since when has logic ever been involved in the franchise? <laughs> Guess point. Super Spin was a little too much for it. Hey, someone come around and this. Let's give no, these characters some um, magical instruments. Listen, you know, logic here, kind of went out the window as soon as that idea flew. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell? Maybe that worked. Hey, sis, what are your feelings telling you now? Um, uh, that we better leave. Huh? Huh? You're lying. I'll handle this. Go. Both. Sure. Go. Why not? You've done such a superb job so far. Now I can just see Knuckles running animation in the games, just him dragging around on his belly with him doing that whirling fist thing he's doing here. <laughs> One more time. Well, do you remember the old, um, oh, I'll come the name of the thing, was it? In Sonic City, if you press up and, um, B, you have the one where Please. Sonic is running in a circle uh, with, with the swirly um, okay, legs. Really, you should have that kind of running animation for Knuckles by pressing up and um, any uh, button for, for him in the games. <laughs> by the way, did you see Knuckles' white arms? No, I didn't. Yeah, there are a couple of animations there. Keep your eyes peeled on Sonic and Knuckles' arms. Hang on, guys! Knuckles is suddenly turning to a cheat, or however you pronounce that. <laughs> No. no. Yes. Uh, uh, How exactly does that work? Spinning your arms around very fast. Somehow makes the ground up. I can understand when he's under the ground, but above it? Does he just uh -huh. work it that fast or something? He's got magic arms. Maybe that's it. The power of the blur saves that's us it. forever. You're toast, knucklehead. I thought you meant the power of the animation. That works. <laughs> Bet the kidney is even dumber than you, Dingo. Thank you. Then again, maybe not. I bet those hedgehogs are history by now. <laughs> I love this guy's voice. I know, right? Sorry, I just do. He kind, of, he kind of reminds me of a little bit like on, Brain from Pinky and the Brain. The not quite, the but I, I, yeah. He, you can definitely see, uh... Blake kind of reminds me of... It kind of reminds me of Tim Curry, of all people. <laughs> Tim Curry swallowing awesome wells. <laughs> Using the power of my music from the car, I can cut through this horn with no problem. Well, shouldn't that be the other way this around, Matt Orson? I think it could make more sense Hello. if it was Orson eating Tim Curry, but on Tish. <laughs> to be fair, though, it'd be funnier to watch Tim Curry trying to eat Orson Welles. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Pill, dude. You're way too excited. Obviously, you haven't heard about the famous hedgehog. I just speed. love the laziness of the All animation right, of, of his, his arms going so fast, they just look like a pile of lights, basically. I like the laziness of. I'm supposed, <laughs> I'm supposed to be going, yeah, to this, and I'm just going. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that was most people's reaction to Sonic Underground. It was like, mm. yeah, where, the, uh, where the hell is Tails? <laughs> Now you're mine, Hey, he, at least he didn't get bastardized in this, so... This and, to think, folks, and to think, folks, we could have had Sad AM Season 3, but instead D chose to make this. <laughs> if we got the Archie comics, that's oh, yeah, right, well, isn't sorta. it? <laughs> Come on, you can do better than that, knuckle brain. I mean, you got such legendary writers for that, like yet, Ken pal. Pandas. You're taking me to <laughs> Sonic and Man. <Manny. laughs> Rip and glow. I mean, Are you, you might be able to, you might complain about comic writers, writers on other things, but at least you don't have someone as bad as Ken Pandas. <laughs> He's not kidding oh, about that beautiful. one either. Yeah. <gasps> Well, I haven't read the comics in so long, I don't even... 
It's not a case. It's not just a case that he's a bad rider. It's um, other things. But anyway, back to the show. Yeah. Now there's something you don't see every day. Yeah, I know, right? A man trying to voice a woman. That first step's a real trip. Watch that first step, it's a doozy. Hey, hey right. Hedgehog, can you fly? Huh? Such an sure effective bridge with all the holes in it. I was just going to say, why the hell did they decide to fight on a piece of cheese? What I want to know is why did Sonic go across on this bridge? It's like, oh, jeez, oh, right? the opponent's on the other ah. side here. I could, oh, I don't know. Leave. Also, this guy could, like, break, like, ah. Of really solid ground, and this is not very solid ground. Yeah, this is a really good plan. No. What happened? What, what the hell just happened there? That wasn't Suddenly, Sonic uh, just hop over, uh, over uh, mid air, everybody revving his feet. Physics, what's mm. that? Need a hand? Ah, hey, this is a, so, this a, is a hedgehog that can run at the speed of sound. I think physics kind of cried back then. Well, this is not what we're dealing ah, about. Wait a minute. That, physics oh, wait. Well, physics are always out the wind. Are always thrown out the window. Look at Sonic 06. I guess. Yeah, but that doesn't have a physics engine. That has a bunch of scripted events made to look like a physics engine. <laughs> Stock noises. Because money is just too. Um, money is something we don't have. <laughs> hey, at least they don't use the aim um, uh, ping yeah, sound thanks. like they do in, um, like I say, G3.6. I mean, it could always be worse. Uh, hold up, projector. This reeks of robotic. No, I think it's his <laughs> breath. Trey Droll. So, big guy, where'd you get this? <laughs> Not gonna work like that, sis. And of course, yes, all animals have to act like dogs, okay, too. Dog. Once that means yes, On top of that, that they means all have no. semi intelligence. Got it. Hmm. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Oh, get over yourself! I prefer so, Gary to be honest. Did you get that thing from a big round guy with a mustache? <laughs> 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 uh, what about happen. a big ugly dog kind of guy with a little sleaze ball? Uh huh. Sweet and dingo. Nice work, bro. Can you take us to them? Uh huh. What? <laughs> uh huh. I swear, if this thing starts talking like Scooby Doo, I'm out of here. <laughs> so would I. So would I. Thank God it doesn't go that far. Bad enough that he kind of, kind of reminds me of um. Oh, what's the name of the pet from the Flintstones? Dino. 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 Yeah, he kind of reminds me a little bit, like, a little bit of Stand Dino. It. Hmm. It's fantastic. Then the wolf has left the floating island. Left. Too bad seems it won't hard to believe. No. They're the always show. after something. The emerald. Yeah, do the Chaos Emeralds actually do anything? And well, there's actual able to water bend. Well, actually, actually, we're not watching it today, man. But there was actually a three-part, you know, the three-part story arc with the Chaos Emerald, don't you? Yeah, I yeah, haven't well, seen we Sonic Underground in so long. Yeah, oh, so it's, it's yeah. a part of my childhood memory I'd like to try to erase. <laughs> For that. How <laughs> convenient. That just summarized this entire episode in that line right there. Nice job breaking it, hero. Whoa! Man, to be we fair, this was dead on arrival. So. Watch, like watch this. Just watch this. Sonic! Up there! Slate and Dingo! Oh. <laughs> Almost there. Hurry, Dingo. Look! It's Sonya again. Remember what I just said Dingo, about let's go. the Hakan's idiot? Ah, uh, you idiot! Swatbots, move out! Retrieve the yeah. emerald! And here we go, folks. You're coming to the away! Because actually what, having a fight, emerald? proper fight Look. scene, oh, that would take up way too much budget. Let's Look at this do thing it, bounce. do it! Incoming ear rape. I'm sure, I'm sure someone, when they were making this, when they showed this and they actually had this happen, was like, this is 
th this is stupid, right? You, you do realize this. <laughs> who thought this was a good idea anyway? I mean, who did this? French? Well, I just told you, Rob, Robbie Warren, the executive producer, D, blame him. Has he made anything ever since this? I don't. Hopefully he got blacklisted in working on any other animated show ever. Well, he was also the executive producer. The sad part is, I think he was also the executive producer of the other two Sonic shows, actually. So basically, he sort of started not, he sort of didn't really give a damn, then started giving a crap, and then just didn't give a damn again. At least Robbie said with the songs, they were trying to make them sound generic. Generic as pop. They were making the lyrics sound generic as possible because of so they could reuse them out of context of this show. Because apparently, another reason why they include this song is because say because they thought they could get more money off of the royalties for some reason. I just love how awful Knuckles has looked in this whole um, song sequence. The way he looked and the way he was drawn in certain parts that was like I mean I could have drawn him better. That's he looks like he's got like a pot belly practically. So it was just how angular his face looked here at certain points actually. But yeah, but now that you mention it. I mean, I do find a Knuckles voice in this. I kind of prefer his first voice. I kind of prefer the first voice in Sonic Adventure and Dan Green. This is I always prefer Knuckles having a deep, delicacy. rough voice. Dan Green yeah. makes yeah. everything better. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Knuckles. One of the few good voice so, actors of four kids. Island mm. To find our mom, Queen Alina. Queen Alina is your mom? Why didn't you say I, so? To be fair, I don't I mind knew. Knuckles' she was voice here when in I was this. Just it's a not kid. horrendous. She left this for you. In the final days of Robotnik's tyranny, I mean, by the logic of this show, with my children. Sorry. sorry. First among them will wall. be I don't like your guardian of the chaos <laughs> emerald. By the power of friendship. And we never see Knuckles again. Actually, we do. There was there was a three part partner later on with him in it. Well, for the purposes of today's CQ rest, we never see him again. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, we're doing episode 30 next. What's the title of that one? Wedding that Bell one. Blue. Wedding oh. Bell Blue. Oh, I see. Yeah, I got it. All right. We're approaching the end of this one, of uh, the series, folks. Originally, it was slated to be 65 episodes long. <laughs> but it only made it to 40. That kind of says everything, really. I was going to say, it? let that stand as a testament. The sad, the sad part is that, is that bit is that that uh, when the series start started, when they were gathering the writers, uh, Ben Hurst, who was the who you know the head writer, who was the head writer of Sonic Set AM season two, he was actually part of the writer corral when they were pitching the series originally. Ben refused to work on this, but Ow. but they but they approved but uh, he was guaranteed an episode. So after he, I think he wrote a couple of eps, and apparently the story error got fired. And actually, Ben Hurst was the story error for this. But apparently, due to the they had a rough deadline and he couldn't really salvage it. He wanted to get some lore going, but he had to push the scripts out so fast and he had to and some of the writing was so bad he had to rewrite all scripts so he couldn't really do he didn't have time to salvage this eh. to be fair what i've seen so far it's just it's not terrible i mean it's not a good idea don't get me wrong i mean it was a terrible idea but the execution is not awful i mean the voice acting is Vanilla enough for it to not be terrible. I mean, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I take, I take. I, I've been taking the Mickey out of Jaleel White doing a female voice, but honestly, I've, I've heard worse, a, a lot worse. So, you know, it could, you know, perhaps Lying in the King has sort of dulled my senses to bad animation, but you know, in comparison, this is, you know, passable. At, you know, at worst. 
I think the Lion and the King is going to scar us for a very long time <laughs> here. It's like that's our baseline. That is the bottom of the barrel uh, scraping it. The scum off the very bottom of the wood. That is the Lion and the King. And if you can w- uh, do worse than that. Well, to be fair, first, other than just basically all, someone doing s- armpit fart noises throughout the episode, I don't think you could. <laughs> To be fair, one other thing though is if you um, we uh, it's like first of all I want to see something worse than Lion of the King, not just so that we can suffer on here and for the entertainment purposes of the audience, but um, just because it falls under how do you sink lower than that? The Zelda CDI games are better than that, and that well the the animation of the Zelda CDI games there's a there's a difference. As I wouldn't say it those, was. Ri- I wouldn't. Yeah. As bad as no. those are, at least there's consistency. You know, there's at least a consistent flow of yeah, consistent it's, creepiness it's, to it. Well, it's not a recycle of the animation is what I'm getting at. Well, say for some of the later stuff, but I digress. The point is, is that that's, you know, Zelda CDI games, they're pretty infamous. Too. But yeah. I don't think they have anything on the Lion and the King because at least there the voice acting was uh, ter- was worse. And the animation was usually just recycled. There is one major difference, though. Obviously, it's because obviously one's a game and one's just basically a cartoon. With The Lion and the King, you're about done in about 30 minutes. With Zelda CDI, because of how bad the game is, how frustrating it is to play, and how poorly designed it is, you could be playing that game for hours and (laughs) hours. So, yeah, I, I think I would pick Lying in the King just for the fact that it's over and done with in a short amount of time. Fair enough. All right, we are digressing. I don't know if that's a good thing for Sonic Underground or what, but why don't we move on? There's not really a lot to say about Sonic Underground. It's just a bad idea, not brilliantly implemented. Which is funny because we know something that it didn't sound like a good idea at the time, and yet it turned out pretty damn good. But I digress. Anyway, episode 30, Wedding Bell Blues. This Wedding one was Bell another, Blues. <sighs> this was another one of those deeper cut poops that I saw. And th- that's why I wanted to put this on there. I wanted to see the source material. So anyway, <laughs> it's up. Well, we're already here, so might as well. And if it's just filler. Anyway, on one, three, two, one. Of a deadly fate, give up your children, separate, bide your time, lie in wait. Sonic Underground, Sonic Underground, they made a vow, their mother will be found. I just love the fact that they're doing this for their mother. <laughs> Oh, just we've, got to save, we've got to save the world. Yeah, we've got to do it for the people. And that, nah, screw that. We just want to do it for Mars. Yeah. Oh, 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 God, just a good as reason as any. Oh, God, this, uh, I'm saying this is a Ben vs. Ren episode. Let's see how he fares in this one. Because if this episode it's, it's if this episode sucks, it's gonna be sad considering how good Ben what is writing Sad Am season two. I, where, I swear that now we're talking about the theme, it just feels like it's just being blurted out and barfed out. The, the music itself isn't bad, the lyrics, however, on the other hand, that's what kills it. <laughs> Yeah, I think there was only one song in this entire sh- the entire series I liked, and that was the one from the from the part w- part one of the three part origin app. <laughs> from the shit. <laughs> Chili dogs now, Sonic. We're on an important mission. I see another animation error. Blue arms. <laughs> no, it's just e- early pre-production for Sonic Boom. Boom. <laughs> Also, can I just uh, say, Sonya, most of Sonya's lines are basically Robin's lines from Batman and Robin. Dude, I already said that. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it bears repeating because, yeah, she's just a whiny little brat. I'd rather be low class than 
No, huh? class. Looks like we got a bad case of sticky hey, fingers. Hey, where I come from, you never know when you might need something. Put hey, back. man, I can make thievery cool. I'm sorry, Manic, but it, when you're making the spikes atop Silver's head look less ridiculous, you kind of really have got a very poor look going on there. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hear ye, citizens of Robotropolis. Hear ye, citizens of Robotropolis. I am going to perform my favorite scene from Hamlet. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him. I am a kind, generous, and caring tyrant, I will even A kind, generous, caring tyrant. You guys ever heard of that? No. Did he say man? I thought that was a rarity in um, inspiration manifestation, but you know. There's no way mother would marry someone she doesn't love with all her heart. And who could love a domineering old butthead like Doc Botnick unless she were forced? You know, on Or unless she was a fake! We have to be there too. Now I think think it was aliens. You don't mean I don't mean. Oh, here we go. Excellent. A fine day for snaring hedgehogs, but the cost of this bogus wedding is bankrupting me. Yes. But it must <laughs> not even in, high the not even the king of the, the world trend. is free from wedding fees. Uh got all these why not raise more tribute? Yeah, apparently in this version, Robotnik keeps the 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 high aristocrats on Robotics so they can actually pay off his factories in this one, I think. Acne carpet cleaners! Okay, nobody's home. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Sorry, my good fellow. There Please don't tell me this is a Mario reference. The Super Sonic Brothers and Sister. <laughs> So, um, so are they called Sonic Sonic, Manic Sonic, and Sonia Sonic? They are, that would be funny. Although your ensemble leaves a bit to be desired. By the way, I hear your mum's wedding will be Trey. Hey, Super Paisanos, it's the Super Sonic Super Show. Okay, at least that has alliteration. I'm yeah, so that sounds like pretty cool. <laughs> man, I could sign even have, <laughs> have Brian Luigi's powers calling for him there. <laughs> hey, why are you jealous? It's your sister. Why well, you want to marry your sister? That's kind of an odd commentation in this show. I think that was all that needed to be said by that. Well, there's also the idea of Robotnik wanting to marry a hedgehog, so yeah. But then again, considering this is a world populated by animals, he doesn't have that many options. <laughs> doesn't stop some furries. No, it doesn't. Sorry. Sorry. They are quite nice, aren't they? And what all of us want most of Probably hit, hit a bit to too close to the wind there, She's but there we go. My sweet can help. You know I'll do anything, my pet. Anything. <laughs> anything. <coughs> I do love the fact that it's Sonic that's wearing the Luigi type overalls here. <laughs> what does that say? Second rate? <laughs> oh, and check out Manic. He's wearing Mario's overalls, and yet he's green. Irony. In that case, Sears, all you have to do is volunteer to supply the music. Music? Well, I don't know. Okay, so I. I'm do snooty, know. don't you know? <laughs> so I automatically have a British accent going for me. Yes, I was intentionally gaslighting that. Think we're about to find I was just gonna say, if that's your idea of a British accent, then oh dear. What spot? What no, it helps. Spot? I can just, and I can just use my manual default voice and have one. So. <laughs> Hello, Bartleby, you wart on the nose of society. It's tribute time again. Wart on the nose of What's society, that? and he has tribute? a honker like that. But I just... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that is a pretty good insult. I had to remember that one. Shut those machines off. You know as well as I do that marrying a I'm queen is you. very expensive. But I'm not marrying a queen. But your lord and master is. Double tribute and I want it now. But, but... 
Oh. Well, now what if I pay half the tribute and supply some very expensive musicians as well? Hmm. Done. Goodbye, Burble Bee. Come, Dingo. And he boshes his name. <laughs> I think the guy's I name is really Bartleby, but the thing again, who cares? Why do we care? Exactly. <laughs> Why do I even mention it? <laughs> wow. Nice period of for costumes there. And somewhere, These guys just, just get worse. And somewhere, Mozart is skinning to his grave. To be fair, anyone that's related to music ever probably spins in their grave as soon as they have a sing, um, you know, a musical number in any episode of this. True, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you see, this is the, you, you know your show is dead on arrival when the main idea of your show is to have musical numbers that make you have magical instruments that help take, you know, to basically win win the day. You, you're kind of basically backing yourself into a corner to make sure that those songs are actually good. Yes. You, you know you've failed yeah. when, when they aren't. <laughs> stop with the, um, oh, they stop built that. The thing. Ow. To be fair, at least it's not the problem solvers. That really will actually give you epilepsy. We're trying too hard to be MTV here. <laughs> Cutaways, that's the, the worst bit about this. Well, uh, that and the music. You must take your place in the circle of life. Oops, oops, sorry, wrong franchise. I'm getting out of here. I just love the fact that they're still wearing those ridiculous Ooh, wigs while playing. <laughs> I love the like fact that that song did absolutely solo. nothing One to the time. plot. In, um... I'm not kidding. In, um, I love the fact it's the shortest one we've heard thus far. <laughs> that too. That, and that's kind of my point. Is a song in a um, in a show has to advance the plot. So when it doesn't do that, Ooh, I am going to say something so oh, controversial here. Being like the smile song, then. Stop. I was out there in the stock voice, I kept, because of the stock voice, I kept swishing in and out of their, out of their skies. I can By the way, I'm so going to be get, I'm so well, going to be thrown well, out of a Mr. window. Actually, now. I can add on to that. See, it can either develop a character or advance the plot. So, oh, no, see, now you're having to add extra things now. Well, no, you can check it. But the point is, is anyway, the point is, it's is still the song in this episode was pointless. Yes. And they're still jamming. Why? Huh? There is one major difference between this and the Smile Song. The Smile Song is actually a good song, regardless of its context. Exactly. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. Four. And now they begin beatboxing. Oh, sure, God. because we, we have uh, We need John DeBaggio and Billy West. I was gonna say we haven't <laughs> shat on enough genres, but I don't know. Alright. Passageway, anyone? Way to go, bro. So, Perhaps that's why they only made it 40 episodes, because they'd used every musical genre and killed, burned, burned all of them up by then. <laughs> And it's the costume change. Sonic to check outside while I work my way into the bridal chamber. Oh, sis, you got style by the mile. Meet you both back here when we're all a little older and wise. <laughs> Sonia, your derpy's showing through. So the hedgehogs are. I can see all of you, even us. What have you got? A special trap for the fast one, which is <laughs> well, something if we tell you can't you, resist. Someone is going to figure it out, and that's going to ruin the plot. <laughs> all right, we'll set up here. Oh. 
wonder how painful that is. I guess now I figure it, why do I this really stuff's hot. Oh, Dingo, you're such a crybaby. To catch a mouse, you use cheese. But to catch a hedgehog, you must use... Chili dogs! Primo supremo! Give me a triple banger with quadruple chili. Extra spicy! Yes, sir. Isn't it funny that the only thing that really ties these three cartoons together, you know, the original dick cartoons, is um, chili dogs. Yeah, pretty much. Awesome concoction, my good man. This is what I call and eventually it did, And eventually, in Sonic Generations, he actually mentions one them. More thing. Really? What? Giant Venus flytrap. Just about the only thing that made it into main canon. Transformation, what the hell? I didn't order a giant Venus flytrap. Must be one of those super meal promotions. No, we don't need to say it. Oh man, I hate to do this. Uh -oh. oh well, for mom and country. Chili bombs away! For mom and country, patriotism at its finest. <laughs> also, um... But so it goes. You'd want to put the spice on the tongue, not down the stomach. Oh yeah, I almost, I almost forgot. Yeah, the Archie comic, but since this show actually never got an actual finale, I think Archie was actually going, a, couple, a year or two ago, Archie was actually going to bring Sonic Underground back and do a special fina finale story issue, but they put it on hold indefinitely. Yeah, because everyone was crying out Tell for a continuation of this story. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Since it was Archie and Flynn would have been writing it, so maybe it would have been better than this. Uh, for better the writing in this show. Well, to be fair, poor Ian Fleming's got enough on his plate having to write out all the characters that were created by the likes of Ken Panda, so, you know. Yeah. Now that's what I call a kingly physique. No, that's just me. Mother? Mother, what big arms you have! All the better to give you huge hugs with. <laughs> that looks like Mother, what chamber. a deep voice you have! That looks like an actual. All the better to have this great tenor voice for you, darling. <laughs> Mom, you're not really gonna marry that ugly dude, Robotnik, are you? And the giant bit. Actually, my darling children, And the giant because orange arms kind of giving it away job. already. Oh, thank goodness, it's only a trap. Man, I think I'd rather marry her than Sonya. <laughs> and, you know, I love uh, this fight scene. This thing going fight scene is gonna highlight something. I'll get to it shortly. Sweet! How dare you allow that dingo thing to impersonate the queen? That's nothing. Check out what he's impersonating now. <laughs> And then dirty things happen. Oh, come on, man. You think this is clue? You think the candle stick is instantly going to kill the swap bot? Quite obviously, Manic, what you need to do is just say you were over there. No, no, no. I refuse to be named the Crown Prince's successor to the throne. But, Sweetikins, don't you see? What the hell is Robotic wearing? Your mother has given up her right to rule. You have to take her place. My mother's absence is because of <laughs> I love how you can't even if describe it. If it's my it. fault you are missing a mother, <laughs> I will remedy that lack by adopting Who's our like, new I'm wearing, I'm wearing white today. Well, I need a big pink hat. You may it's like I just a society not. It's, it's like, it's just robotics usual re, you regular outfit, but they didn't put any color on our it. Guests, <laughs> we have a slight change in schedule. Instead of a wedding, you shall witness better than not having co having completely colored backgrounds like you have in Captain N. By our beloved leader, Doctor, and soon to be King, Robotnik. You know, oh, 
Go ahead. Actually, I, th I think that thing with Captain N, I think they later redid that episode where they did put the backgrounds in. Yeah, but it just proves how rushed it was that when they first broadcast it. It was like, ah, eh, kids won't know the difference. They'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I find it funny. Um, oh, so Robotnik has all power. What is the point oh, oh, of this calling is definitely him? Me. I'll just let that line speak for itself and go for now. But um, he's dictator. Does he really need the title Nick, king? Where are you? Not technically, no. If he's if if you're ruling through force, all you really need is just a lot of guns. Hey, hey, I just want Twilight guys. to get her um, doctorate goes. so we can call her Doctor Princess and Twilight Sparkle. Continue the absence of <laughs> Queen Alina. It is decreed that Princess Sonia shall rule in her stead. Not a time here, Manic. Excellent. And I'd like the fact that her doctorate would be in herbal remedies. <laughs> With this crown, Princess Sonia. Halt! I forbid oh, this here ceremony. We go. How time, guys? Bang. Nice going, Manic. Lovely frock. The royal scepter. It's the queen. What the hell have they done with Robotnik's eyes? Oh, Look at his eyes there. No. <laughs> God, that's just disturbing. That was. I know it's because he's got Robotnik. red pupils, but oh, they look horrible Alina there. Shall never abandon Mobius or her children as long as I may live. Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Wait, there's a queen in this that's not a bad guy? A girl, I should say? Wow! That, that, that's like, never happened. Oh, quite obviously, they've not read the memo from Disney that all queens are evil. <laughs> One burrito, El Garoso, coming right up! One burrito El Grosso, that's basically a trip to Taco Bell. I just love these family get-togethers, don't you? They're the best. Isn't it? But where's Matt? Yeah, Milky I'm not going to complain on that. <laughs> we don't have Taco Bell here, so... That was Unbelievable! It's a pretty disgusting location, I'm not going to lie. At least it is does down here. Does everyone, go that, does everyone go to them on a Tuesday? Yes, actually. <laughs> But they only well, go on Tuesdays. What is over your match? I actually go to Godobas for Taco fast. Tuesday because they have a literal <laughs> Taco Tuesday sale where they well, sell all tacos well, for a well. buck. Your children may have escaped, <laughs> Queen Alina, but at least I have you. You, you. How you doing, Sleep, dummy? You idiot. <laughs> No, sire. I'm the conniving one. Dingo is the idiot. So this is a gummy origin story. <laughs> work, guys. They're both the idiots. Your impersonation yeah. of mother, what else? It sure was, Manic. Exceptional job. So kind, but I never made it. I thought it was you. Oh, wait a minute. If it wasn't Manic or Sonic, then it had to be... Was well, it Manic or Sonic or Sonic? Wow. The nightmare has been averted, but a long darkness still remains before our freedoms dawn. Or a Perhaps a few but days in the dungeons will give both of you else. time to reflect on your shortcomings. Take them yeah. away. I oh, want my own cell. No, sleep, please. When I'm alone, I get scared of the dark. Let this episode highlight something that it only just recently dawned on me. What is the point of Queen Alina remaining in solitude at this point? then we can say that she's in a fortress of solitude, so it sounds quite awesome. <laughs> hey, Craig, what's the last episode we're doing so I can get it queued up? Uh, number 32, aircraft in flight. Aircraft in flight. You mean aircraft in space. <laughs> in space! Because it's, it's saying aircraft in space on my DVD case here. Well... Well, it's episode yeah. 32, if that's It's episode help. 32, yes. I don't know why I keep inserting that in here. Not just be, not only just because we brought it up previously, but I think it's like Sonic, Mario, of course, you know, the big rivalries and whatnot. And I can't 
I can't yeah. help but just kind of laugh at that. Why do I get the impression? Because I like torturing myself by playing terrible games or really annoying games. You're going to say, Matt, play Kaizo Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't wish that on anybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, I'd, still rather, I'd, play, I'd rather play that in a heartbeat over Sonic 06 so you know where does Sonic 06 rank for you I just gotta get an idea what for me as in like the worst games I've ever played in terms of like <laughs> of all the games you've ever played where would you rank this one Oh, uh, and I know you're gonna say it's not the, the it's not it's not the worst game I've ever played. Let, let me put, yeah. put it like that to start with. I, it's for, the thing is, though, from a fundamental and technical level, it's competent enough for it to be. You can let me say say this: you can play it from the beginning to the end. For example, I recently played Barbie for the NES. I don't think you could complete that because I couldn't even get <laughs> past like yeah. thirty seconds in. So. <laughs> From a from a competency level, it's not the worst, but in terms of expectations, I'd say it was probably pretty damn really low. Although to be fair, by the time I actually bought it, I had heard how bad it actually was, but I still was genuinely shocked at how awful the PlayStation 3 port was in particular. Okay. Yeah, I have to agree. I mean, it has its moments, but yeah. overall, it's not something I would definitely recommend playing or recommend. You've got to, yeah, you've got to be a huge Sonic fan to and and have a huge amount of curiosity to go out there and play it. Basically, much or like the things like Sonic percent. Labyrinth. Uh, much like Sonic Labyrinth and, say, like the, the um, Game Gear version of Sonic 2. I mean, unless you are a huge Sonic nut and just really want to get yourself involved in everything that was involved with the franchise, I really like me. give those a miss. <laughs> Either I mean, that or you like have me. a real masochist or have a patience of a saint, practically. Hey, let me say this. If you want to play a game that's not very good but isn't going to frustrate you, I actually would recommend you renting or borrowing Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric because it's a bad Sonic game, but technically underneath that, it's not a bad game completely. It's just... it's. Yeah, I, I mean, it just feels saying. like every other... Li it's It feels like licensed tie-in number 55,245. <laughs> <laughs> You're keeping count. <laughs> I would yeah, rather me, play Shadow the Hedgehog over Sonic 06 again. Oh, no, no, no. no. For me... No, I, I for, actually think Shadow the Hedgehog is worse than Sonic 06, but... Geez, sorry, really? go ahead, Jay. So, yeah. I'll explain why for me, in a minute. I said for me, I think my least favorite 3D Sonic is actually Sonic in the Black Knight because of the motion control. I, Sonic 06 actually isn't my... I mean, I know Sonic 06 is a bad game, but it's not my least favorite Sonic because... I, I think, I think I've kind of become desensitized to it because I play every major Sonic game every summer, including 06. Because I th so I think I've kind of been desensitized to its awfulness by now. <laughs> I will have to ask this. I've asked this before, but I will ask this again. What is it with shit games having, like, really awesome music? I have no idea. <laughs> to be fair, it's just a, a fairly common sonic trait though that it normally it, it, i think sonic labyrinth and sonic chronicles excluded almost every other sonic game has a really really good soundtrack pretty much oh and maybe sonic blast for the game gear but to be fair virtually no one has ever played that so <laughs> that got ported for the master system in brazil by the way because you know, the Master System was massive in Brazil, mainly because Nintendo just didn't um, have a Brazilian company, so it had a huge import fees. Because they've um, recently stopped selling in Brazil again recently, because of the high costs of um, importing into Brazil. If you don't produce stuff internally in Brazil, they put massive taxes on to um, any of the stuff that you sell there. Um, but anyway, I was going to explain why I think Shadow the Hedgehog is worse than Sonic 06. Well, it's the case I've actually never played Shadow the Hedgehog, but I have played Sonic Heroes. And Sonic and Shadow the Hedgehog is pretty much um, controls very similarly to um, how Sonic and Shadow and that controls in um, Sonic Heroes. And the problem I have with Sonic Heroes is just how slippery the control is in that. It's very stiff in Sonic 06, and I would rather have stiff control than slippery control. I'd rather have too much control than not enough. And 
also, I think the story in Shadow of the Hedgehog is completely nonsensical, completely superfluous. I mean, come on, 30 seconds in, you bring in aliens. I mean, come on, you're just done there. <laughs> 30 seconds in aliens it's like yeah you just you're just not even trying here and i'd imagine the story doesn't even make more sense depending on what story path you take like one second also, shadow is evil and then suddenly you do the good path and suddenly you're doing good again so but it's irrelevant as a fi- because there's a final story anyway oh yeah what's the point what's the point of deciding your your fate as shadow anyway when you've got to do all of them anyway all of the endings suck by the way for for that and then you have to do a final story anyway um but i actually think the worst 3d sonic game now that i think of it you mentioned sonic and the black knight as much as i've i've actually never played sonic and the black knight but i've heard that you do at least get some reasonable amount of control because you use the nunchuck uh analog stick to control sonic is that right I yeah, that's right. I think yeah. from it- well, I think the worst Sonic game, 3D Sonic game, although calling it a 3D Sonic game is debatable, <laughs> is uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings, because I you're basically just one. constantly moving forward, and then you're having to use the terrible motion controls to try and control, no, try and control him. I just love yeah, the fact that you get there's there's upgrades in that game for better control. Here's yeah. A tip. Make sure you have the better control from the start of the game. Because people yeah. aren't going to keep playing it if it controls like crap. Yep. Yeah. I think my uh, I think my issue with Black Knight is, mate, is basically is basically I think it's because in one of the boss fights you have to swing the Wii Remote at just the right time to parry the boss's things. I think it's just my issues with try swinging and getting the timing right. I always keep getting killed because I just have a hard time getting the time swing physically swinging the re- Wii remote just the right time to counter the boss. And that's kind of my issue with it. I will say this about black Knight Cause I've seen uh, playthroughs of the game. It looks pretty good for a Wii title mm. and the voice acting is actually really, really good considering it's the four kids actors. The, I, the, seriously, the, the, the voice acting in that is actually really, really impressive. In fact, yeah, it's, it probably is. Jason, it's probably Jason Griffin's, Griffin's best interpretation of Sonic out of all the ones he ever did, which is kind of sad when you consider it's not really a mainline Sonic title. <laughs> it's even sadder because it wasn't that uh, right before he was let go. Yeah, it was the last time he yeah. did Sonic. And I think he actually really gotten really good at doing the character by then. Which, yeah. you know, it's a, sh- it's a shame, but I'm not going to say that... I um, uh, can't think of his name that does it now. Roger uh, Craig Smith. Roger Smith, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I'm not going to say that he's doing a bad job, though. So Yeah. We better move on to the last episode. Move on. Yeah, because yeah, this is degenerating into a, just a general Sonic uh, discussion, which I yeah. feared probably was going to happen in at some point anyway, but... <laughs> Especially with me around. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, you've got me around as well. So. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you got the two Sonic nuts in here. <laughs> All right. Haircraft in space, or whatever it's titled. Haircraft in Bologna. I got this off of oh, the God. Sonic Wiki, so that's where I got these episode titles and synopses. Okay, so that's where I'm basing this off of. Anyway. On one, three, two, one. I love the riff at the beginning, but then the song just goes to complete crap. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. But, well, it's the, it's the lyrics that kill it. it. The music itself is fine, but the lyrics is uh, can I just say I actually do like Sonya's motorbike it is actually quite cool <laughs> I mean th- there's some germs of good ideas here not many but yeah I know where you're going with it I mean, you know, the, the idea of them having magical instruments and that is stupid, but... Oh, it is Haircraft in Space. Yep. In Space! Sometimes 
the struggle of a freedom fighter. Space. Air space. 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 Gotta go to space. Relaxing Body one's space. guard for even a second yeah. leaves room for unscrupulous attack. Moral for right from the beginning of the story. Don't drop your guard! Hasta la vista, baby. Do what speaking? And oh, that's oh, yeah, now that is an emergency. Will you just get hey, your little Hey, I can segue the fact that we're doing, going to be doing Schwarzenegger month on Saturday movie movies here on CQ. <laughs> Shameless plug. Well, you have to try to do her own hair again. Tried it and fried it. That's so typical. I told her not to trust anybody but you. Really? Wabble, wabble, wabble. What else wabble, wabble. you tell her? That I think... Dr. Robotnik is already... All hail the hypnobot. <laughs> yes, I don't think I've actually yes. seen this one okay, before, so actually. You're done. Ooh, perfect as usual. No I will have to say, I do... There are a couple of Sonic Underground episodes I do like. I like the three-part origin episode. I, there was one that Sad Am writer Len Jansen wrote that I... That I liked, and I think I like the three that three part other Knuckles three parter I mentioned. Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry, but, but this area isn't for customers. To be honest, I think this is not a case of it being really that bad. It just seems pretty forgettable more than anything. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna. I was just gonna actually mention that that it falls into. Finally. Is anyone else really of us four here? Are we actually really giving much of a crap? Like. Is it, is it, are you any of you invested in this story? System disabled. No. I'm I've completely not this it. the other not three. This well, not this app. Not this Actually, what, 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 are we, what are we watching? <laughs> well, we just saw them take a female look from okay, the bottom. let's get out of here. Hey, as long as it's not anything like that um, Star Max. Chaser film. Where he, a uh, guy actually plunders a fembot's oh, ass. That was the coolest last night. No, I'm not joking on that, by the way. Actually, I need to add that to the list. Yeah. Sorry, we've got He's to do Star Chaser. It's such a huge rip off of Star now. Wars. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and they wanted to make a live action remake of Star Chaser. I just yeah. love how the nostalgia critic turned around and shouted, "They've already done that. It's called Star Wars." <laughs> they did that, and it was better. Pretty much. Uh, everybody's a critic. Everybody's a critic, amen. Your hair is hey, leaking, nice Sonia. Too, sis. <laughs> you look like a recycle bin. Sonic Hedgehog, you left an open can of soda. We'll have to admit that uh, maybe I'll just save it for later when we do Thanks, the follow up. Sis. Well, that's where I left it. <laughs> Thanks, sis. I just poured it all over my head. Now I have to shampoo my hair again. Hey, take a <laughs> shampoo. <chair, laughs> <sis. laughs> you used <laughs> up all my soda and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> What the? <laughs> bitch, 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 it's all you ever do. Again, Jaleel White doing si what? Oh, Sonya. I can't hear you over that hair dryer. Those chili dogs are just like, a, are just giant masses of chili. You don't see any bread or, or the <gasps> What's running for her. Sonic! Yeah, I know. Sonic! It's taking too long. I'll turn her up to high. No, it's got a short. It's got a lot. Good thing Man walked right yet? in right before she was is about to maul him. Hedgehog, you are so in trouble. <gasps> in trouble? Uh -oh. I'm the big Royal brother. Brad what the hell are you gonna do to me? Yeah. Huh? Oh, I Haircut. I so Haircut. this. Please don't tell me that's a hairspray reference. No, I was thinking I, that, I was thinking they just couldn't come up with anything original. Oh, excuse me, my phone's ringing. There. Isn't that the new Tex Mex move? Oh, a little sticky, huh? Uh, what, what you wouldn't mean? believe me if I told you. Don't you worry, honey. Yeah, a little aromatherapy will take care of all your worries. Do you want an aura massage? I want the works. What else do you want? Oh, sweetie, you are stressed. Why don't you tell Dubot all about it? Why, why is it that people like to have like you household chores done by robots yeah, for them? I yeah. wouldn't want to be massacred by a um, robot because yeah, I'd find, you know, the, their cold, dead the hands would probably so just feel... Ugh, I don't think I'd want that. I don't base? Yeah. The command center is located right under Robotnik's backyard. Every time Robotnik says, excellent, I can hardly... Man, I'm back. Laughing. 
I think it's the only superlative he knows. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I made that Dubot to keep tabs on my allies. Anyone who speaks against me will be immediately roboticized. <laughs> Disproportionate retribution. From the Dubot. It would be a pleasure, sir. Excellent. <clears throat> um, good. <laughs> Exquisite! You're a lifesaver! A lifesaver! <gasps> oh, 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 oh. To be Ding fair, dong. I'd be probably running from these guys if they were if they looked like that too, so. Get her! But, you know, it, it, regardless of what my place of business was, if all of a sudden I saw those priests walking, I'd probably do the same. Get that doobot! You know, to be fair, the ro the Dubot is a robot. Wouldn't it just be easier just to program it entirely to just, you know, act as a double agent? Yeah, but this is Robotnik we're talking about here. This is the same guy that decides to program people like Orbot and Qbot, so, you know. Um, Wrong interpretation the only person, by that, a bad man. The only, per the only person that could probably program a robot with that competently is Tails, and he's not in this show. Yeah. Yeah. Emergency facial, perhaps? Ah. I'll give you a facial. Bam! Right, in my, right with my fist. <laughs> that robot's delays need to be adjusted. Also, it needs to be waterproofed. <laughs> That, that dance sequence seriously needs some kind of electro dance music to go with it Not in the so background. Fast, <laughs> Party hard! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> you know what I don't get though? Why is it that I was about to say in the last episode huh? that Spoga and Manic basically don't do that much, they're just dead weight? Yeah. At least Sonya's doing something here. Yeah, I was gonna say, at least she's doing something here. Well, at least she's a female comp character that's at least relatively competent. I mean, I'll give I'll give the show that. Yeah, and I think in one of the one of the episodes that Lynn Jansen wrote, I think he wrote oh, it's Sonya a little bit more like Sally in one episode. That would explain is that really, is that really a good thing? Location. I don't really Contact like Sally Dr. Acorn, Robotnik so... <laughs> This but that's just personal preference more than anything. At least she was a strong yeah, female character, right, so I can't really argue there. Quiet. I think Robotnik's been using the Dubot to tape our conversations. What? Why? There's something about that Dubot. And the Dandy actually something has a flash of intelligence. About Robotnik. Do, 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 do. Very odd. Now that you mention it, that Dubot was doing something strange. Sonia, people are disappearing. And I saw the Dubot today, and that I do not was doing like the do. I'm sure <laughs> he'll think I'm a traitor. Yeah. Hmm, what did I say? Chili shampoo, massage. Hmm. <gasps> oh no! Cramp, dirty, secret, rebel base! I can't believe I said that! Can you find the Dubot before Robotnik gets it? Oh, I have to. If Sonic and Manic find out what I gave away, they'll never forgive me for putting Freedom Fighters. For what? So that's it. Huh? We're putting freedom away. fighters Bummer. in what? Listen, guys, Bartleby in our danger? Looks like in soy sauce? <laughs> in space? <laughs> but they're getting what they deserve. Well, maybe in space because that's what the episode's called. Like the song says. <laughs> what song? The one I'm making up, dude. Uh, uh, here we go, here we go. Song get time. The, get the earplugs. <laughs> Isn't it odd that like when, when you when you when we watch shows like Friendship is Magic, it's like, oh yeah, here comes a song, Exile. I wonder what fantastic um, job that um, you know uh, William Anderson and um, Daniel Ingram are going to do this time. When it gets to the songs in this song, it's like, like I'm that, ready. Right? It's like, oh, the song's happening in Sonic Underground. This is the bit that you dread. To be but, fair, if you were to take all these songs and not change them, but like say you know give them to Ingram or something like that and just tell him, can you fix this? Can you redeem these songs? You think he might be able to get that? I think he'd be saying, why am I? You are stupid. Let's be fair. 
said, uh, Lauren Kels was basically given Princess Promenade and said, fix this. So, you know, you never know. I hey, there when Cy was in the yellow Sue in the green mask. Was he supposed to see so trying to be Jim Cherry back there? I'd hope so, because at least that would be entertaining. <laughs> To be fair, everyone's probably saying somebody stop me. By me, I mean this song. <laughs> Smoking. That was time. Ghosty. Oh, I've got to help him. Hey, if it's that important to you, sis, the songwriters here. grant three hours of work, folks. You know when you said Not that the us. writing of the songs was done in three hours, do you mean all of the songs throughout all 40 episodes were done in three hours? Uh, <laughs> Thank goodness. It's so I don't mean all the songs. I mean, I think he spent Would one night, he spent a whole night working on one song, but the lyrics took three hours. When I thought I smelled a familiar cream rinse, the nose knows, you know? <laughs> well, how convenient. Can you help me find out why they were chasing me? Huh? Huh? Oh, That'd be funny if he did all nice th the lyrics for all, all 40 songs in three hours. That would explain a lot. <laughs> I'm a uh, manic. What's your story? Morning glory. I'm Sonya's brother, son of Queen Alina, huh? separated at birth. Hey, what's with you, bro? Sorry, he gets dropped on his head a lot. Name Sonic, <laughs> the famous Okay, Sonic. that was actually a good so line there. About you. But I'm sure you could tell me more. Huh? Well, uh, I'm really fast and I know I'm impatient. Isn't this interesting? I'm really fast and I know I'm, I'm impatient. I'm known for my speed. That's well, about all the it. character development hey, what's happened, I ever sis? get in Did any show. People? Well, you know, if we're going to help you, we need to check something out. How do you like that? A tape player. Didn't know I had it in me. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's not funny. Exactly. Uh, this thing's in here tight. Let me. No. Well, that, that is a, that is literally a tape rack, but on Tish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> to be fair, it's I think Manus' hair um, hey, looks better worry, like this. Honey, I can fix that. Hey, it's black, stupid. Blackface, <laughs> censor it. Yeah, pretty Done, much. Sis. I was thinking we'll just the same thing when you mentioned All right. it. Is that bot strange or what? Yep, it wouldn't break my heart if Button had got her back. Hey, you thinking what I'm thinking? Let the Dewbot slip to Robotnik? Yeah, what about Bartleby? Shh. He'll be fine. Buttonick's not gonna roboticize his bread and butter. So, right. deal? While we're out tonight, that bot gets the boot. Betrayal? Strange. We've never come here before. I watched the windshield. Cool. Told ya, always surveillance bots around here. Big Robotnik is watching you. Are we there yet? Robotnik is anything other than big? <laughs> Excellent. Um, very, very good. The Dubot is with the hedgehogs. Deploy more God, surveillance bots. God, I'd to see an animated, like, Big Brother now with, bot. like, Robotnik. Well, just basically with a load of, like, really We're camp here? villains. Oh, basically <laughs> all sharing a house. I in my gears. <laughs> Chrysalis has entered hey, the really? diary room. No clue. I think you're <laughs> I'd actually love to see that. Way before this. Sonic, Sonia. Even okay. before that Chrysalis. becomes a. Even before that becomes a robot chicken sketch. <laughs> I just love to see Chrysalis in the diary room breaking down, wanting to see her Flufflepuff. <laughs> Back to the McDonald's. 
They were hungry. Let me go, you figo! <laughs> no, they just wanted the Happy Meal toys. <laughs> Mission accomplished, my man. Oh, we're too late. Aw, oh, too bad. They got the doobot. Whoa. Not good. Look. Do, 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 you, my do, friend, do, do. have a date with Robotnik. You know, the mysteries in this aren't very Robot mysterious. <laughs> no way, they can't be serious. Aw, oh, man, we should have never tipped them off. Whoops. So he's like, what? you have a day with Robotnik. Barley's like, oh god, is Robotnik ex no, going that right. way? <laughs> that would be that would be the worst or for Robotnik torturing him than roboticizing him. <laughs> it's okay, sis. But you should have told us. Well, I'm sorry. But what do we do now? What else? The traditional doing it to it. Hang on. Who wants what? I got Bartleby. Then we got the Dubai. Let's break. Hey. Don't worry. Oh. If there's one thing you can count on, it's... If there's one thing you can count on, it's diarrhea. I said... <laughs> mm. I don't think I'd really want to be counting on that. <laughs> Especially if you count on it happening while you're stuck in the prison cell with those other people. Go now, Let's can go! Just... <laughs> Let that stand. No, no, I want to press. No, I want to press you on this. <laughs> Are we speaking from personal experience on this? Stop messing with my rack. Close your eyes However, and hear it that. Wouldn't hurt to give it a preview. Actually, yeah, that's a very good point. This is a fembot. Why the hell does they need to design boobs for them? Thanks. I mean, this isn't like Futurama, where at least um, they'd be leered at by male robots. You'd think they'd go the Cyberman route, where sex is irrelevant. Not this time, Hedgehog. Coming through. I'm just going to point the gun. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Wouldn't be a stupid villain without them. Amen. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, that was probably one of the best faces I've seen on this show. No, you're and that was probably an animation error more than anything. <laughs> you know, a plan would really hit the spot. Why does Sonic look so neon here? Weird. Weird colorization. Now for me to play my guitar so like. They're all by his face there. Eh? Yeah, that's his face to whenever he hears the Sonic play, play a song in this show. To be fair, that's all of our faces are on this show. got the tape. Said that the hairdresser, said that the hairdresser robot has a better aim than, than robotic me, than the swap bots. <laughs> Let me say this: if um, if there was ever a shred off between this version of Sonic and um, the Equestria Girls version of Rainbow Dash, I think Rainbow would take him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where did she go, military? Cool, huh? You're all right, Dubot. Okay, I gotta admit that is pretty cool. We thought you might want to I always loved how that just is, is like the random um, background characters actually being competent shots. But I've got it's like when you play video games and you have to do the escort missions and the NPCs yeah. can actually take yeah, care of themselves. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, it's God. Now everyone's gonna want me to play Dot Die Katana for hey, the there N64. It is. Oh, Let's get it aboard. Aboard, like the. The bar leaked me through that tape in the fireless, hoping it was the, the show's entire you soundtrack. Of junk. What do you have to say for yourself? You will Fire. remember nothing about the tape you heard or anything that happened today. We will remember nothing. We will remember nothing. 
Wow, the oh, uh, voice acting there actually <laughs> took a turn for the better with them in that monotone voices. You know, why don't they just do, you know, you will abandon this senseless uh, pursuit of power. You will instead pursue the humanitarian aspect. Wait, they're going to give all their time to the, uh, prevent, to, the uh, to, to, to the society for the protection of animals. That's my point. So yeah, that was Sonic Underground. Bleh. Bleh, indeed. <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> Anyone else just kind of feel empty right about now? I just feel hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Well, te- well technically, that means your stomach is empty. <laughs> uh, no arguments there. Let me just say this: it's, Is it any surprise that Dick never got another opportunity to make another um, Sonic cartoon? They were basically well, creatively bankrupt by this point. Oh, well, gee, I wonder why. Well, with a name <laughs> like that, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I just that, love the fact that Dick became Cookie Jar, so uh, and then then got taken over by DHX. It's like uh, the 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 the, the physics, the, the mental analogy of basically getting your dick stuck in a cookie jar. Basically. No, I was about, I was thinking about making the same joke. I was thinking, nah, nah, that sounds too dirty. But then, then you go ahead and made it. <laughs> hey, trust me. I, I if I'm gonna go if I'm gonna go down down a road, I'm gonna take people down with me. <laughs> 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 Do we really have anything else? I mean, I don't think anything's going to top that at this point. Uh, well, I will have to admit, out of, like I mentioned earlier, Gary Chalk didn't do a bad job in the voice acting. He's probably one of the better voice actors in this entire series. Um, that having been well, said, it's... The Marsh was pretty good, too, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, his um, you know playing Sleet there was actually pretty decent in terms of just the voice and actor and in you know his his actual effort. His he did a he did a do, bleh. I hate it when my train of thought just gets derailed. Um, he did do a good job. Don't get me wrong, but still, like you mentioned, just the fact that such a prolific voice actor got saddled in with this, um, you kind of have to wonder. I mean. Yeah, yeah, like you mentioned, <laughs> he only did this for like what the money? Probably. So, yeah. Most voice actors do the job for the money. To yeah. be fair, if you f- f- think about it like this, before you know, be- think about it like this: if, if with um, Generation Four of MLP, you you're in season one, you've got no idea about the quality of the show, really. I mean, yeah. You probably got an inkling. Oh, this show isn't going to be as bad as, say, what I've, you know, some other things I've done. But the, it says something when the majority of the VAs that were in the show had previously worked on MLP, so there was obviously not a huge amount of like respect within like the VA community. I mean, that it probably took a lot of strong arming to get Tara Strong on the show. To be fair, no, and money I, probably. Since, well, since Tara Strong worked on the Powerpuff Girls before. Yeah, probably, I mean, obviously she was friendly with Lauren, so, yep, so yeah, Lauren I mean, said, so there was probably some strong arming going on, though, I wouldn't have been surprised, but it's, it's, I think the thing is, so, I, I think you can tell that a voice actor can see if there's any quality in the show, though, by the amount of effort that they then subsequently put in as the show goes on, because I think, you know, don't get oh. me wrong, the earlier episodes of, of um, Friendship is Magic, the voice acting is certainly not terrible, but I know, I don't know, maybe even like only six or seven episodes in, you can kind of tell that the VAs are really getting into this and really enjoying actually doing it. So it's 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 odd because norm, um, a good example of a show where I don't think the VAs actually really got into the swing of things until, you know, quite a few episodes in is Futurama. If you go back and watch anything from like season one, particularly anything that was voiced by Billy West or John DiMaggio, I don't think they really got into the swing of things until sort of, you know, good good chunk of episodes into season two. And that's not mm. unusual because, you know, you got to start somewhere quite literally and figuratively. Mm-hmm. I was also just looking up on this, too, in regards to voice acting. I didn't realize this until just now, but apparently Knuckles the Echidna was voiced by Vegeta in here. 
Brian Drummond actually voiced Knuckles here, yes. <laughs> and yet we didn't make an over 9,000 joke. I because I got confused. Because I think I got confused. I couldn't, I couldn't remember if it was Drummond or I and James Corlett uh, while we were watching it, so I got well, mixed up. Ian was actually in this, but he he played uh, Cyrus, who yeah, was... Cyrus. He, yeah, Cyrus. We didn't see him, yeah. Isn't Claire Coilette, who um, voices uh, Sweetie Belle in G4, um, the daughter of Ian? Yes. Yep. She, she yeah. is. Well, let's see. see. Keeping it in the family. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Well, let's see. Uh, I wanted to re- read some something. I think earlier I, I mentioned that Ben Hurst's story. I brought up, I brought up the letter he put. Pu- Post about the his side of the story for the behind the scenes for Sonic Underground. Uh, uh, let me re- read this here. He said Sonic Underground was a sad, sad story with the opportunity looming large for the third season of Sad AM. Deke made a creative decision to trash that continuity and strike out in a new direction. The reason because they could add songs with all Sonic, Sonia, Manic, then collect extra residuals from A A C A P and B M I. The so- the gr- uh, all residual payments for cartoons go to Deke, even the royalties set aside for creative people in Europe. There have been legal battles about that, but the only reputi- re- reputable animal animation producer in America to hand those monies over to the writers was Warner Brothers. I've actually received royalty checks from the European release of episodes that Pat and I, Ali and I wrote for Tiny Toons. Here's their Sonic Underground happen. After Sad Am was canned because of a change in leadership at ABC and low ratings caused by multiple preemptions, a new vision of Sonic was created, which was underground. Did they ask me or Pat, Pat or Lynn Jansen to develop this series? No. In fact, I never heard of this series before a deep story air editor called and asked me and Pat to come to do a cattle call for Sonic Underground. I refused. We don't do cattle calls, which for those of you unfamiliar with the term is where they bring in about 20 writers to learn about a series and pitch. It's it's written premises for free in hopes of snagging an episode or two. The story editor got us there by guaranteeing us at least a few episodes. So we off we went to a conference room of Dick. We got there and yep, 20 writers. They showed an episode of Sad I am first season to illustrate the background of the characters. It wasn't one of mine or Pat's. It was one of the other episodes. After they described the mar- the marvelous new direction, sibling, music, missing mother, stupid new characters. Yes, that's how he actually wrote. <laughs> <laughs> they ended the meeting. We were taken into another room of the story editor who told us he wanted us to write the pilot episode. We did segregate the script and the story editor was fired and we were hired. They also hired another team of story editors who survived through about eight episodes before they left. We also got a few fledging writers shoved down our throat by the producers. Results, I had to rewrite their damned unusable scripts from page one. They still got paid for the script. I got nada. We tried our best to get some lore going, but Deke Deke was racing through a series of two episodes a week, an insane pace and one calculated to maximize their profits. We managed to get a three-part origin story through, but with the limited time, we were unable to tie everything together. The only bright, bright spot was that we assigned six scripts to Len Jansen, who wrote some damn and nice stuff. So that was is the saga of Sonic Underground. Sounds a lot like the, a pretty sad case, a bit like um, Sonic Extreme, where basically it's quite a few well-meaning people involved in a project, but just, you know, business and creative decisions basically undermining the talents of people that were, you know, wanting to work hard for the franchise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's also another thing here that I, that I uh, looked up here. Uh, we did mention how uh, it sounded like Jaleel White seemed to be using his Urkel voice for Sonya. Turns out that Jaleel White actually did confirm that he did indeed use his Urkel voice for Sonya. <laughs> 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 And the, voice, uh, and the voice director said, yes, this is a really good plan. <laughs> <laughs> and uh. indeed, Maurice, Mo- Maurice LaMarche actually did do a voice that imitated Sean Connery. There was a, a character yeah. named, yeah, there was a character by the name of uh, Athair or something like that who had that same voice, but we didn't see him either. Yeah, um, he was only in that, he was only in that three part, or I mentioned. And, and the show actually, since it, was actually kind of one of those interesting ones where uh, it was actually mentioned in the chat room. I think Duper Ghoul actually mentioned it. Um, 
But what happened was the show both debuted and ended in the same year that it um, was introduced in 1999. The original air date was August 31st and ran all 40 episodes up through like like the end of October. Like October hmm. 22nd, 1999, I think it was like its last air date. So it aired all its episodes. It aired, it aired like maybe day. two months. Yeah. Wow. It, yeah. Basically, basically, whoever bought the rights to that was like, my God, this is terrible. Let's just get this out there and wash our hands of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would not be shocked that if the person, someone up top said, this is it, guys. This is our bread and butter right here. We're going to make so much money off of this because the kids are just going to eat it up. And again, we thought, and like I said earlier, they thought we're going to make money off the our brilliant song royalties. <laughs> yeah, I use the term funny. loosely. It's funny but, how what, things work out, though. I'm sure. I'm sure that everyone at Hasbro thought that the big bread and butter show for the hub was going to be Transformers Prime. Boy, did they get that one wrong. Yeah, that was like one of the first early shows to actually get cancelled at the hub. I mean, if you're going to be a betting man, I think everyone would have probably put bets on MLP being like the first one getting cancelled. Mm-hmm. Or uh, didn't Strawberry Shortcake wasn't that one of the first ones, or did that come a little later? Um, yeah, I think it started. I think it started around about the same time as everything else. But I think that's still getting new episodes. Yeah, it is. I heard anyway. Anyway, I think the only reason Transformers Prime ended though was because they. Uh, you know that one isn't a slice of life. It's, it's more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more story, so, so a- sequential. Action that's story what it. It's it's a, yeah. it's sequential. So it has. So it had to end, and that's that's why they ended it. Was because you know, it's either I think it's it was either also a case of it's either Naruto esque filler, or end it. And the movie ended with. The, and the sorry, movie ends with that. And I said. Then of course they had to end it because the movie, because the final episode ends with Optimus. Uh, I better not say that as spoiler for those who haven't seen it. But oops. Too late. <laughs> well, Optimus yeah. dies. He dies in like every continuity of Transformers. Oh so yeah. It's not exactly a spoiler, is it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he died for your sins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I think- and there's a hell of a lot of sins in Transformers, considering how often he bloody dies. Yeah. No <laughs> Among other things. I need to watch myself doing the spoil spoilers here. Oops. <laughs> spoilers, the Transformers are robots in disguise. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Anything else to say about Sonic Underground, guys? Uh well. I really can't think of much of anything in regards to the actual underground itself, no. <laughs> uh, the yeah, only thing I will say, there there is there, there there is one small tiny glimmer of hope that came from the fact that um, Dick decided that you know we it's probably not worth us carrying on with Sonic. At least it gave another company the opportunity to make um, Sonic stuff. I mean, admittedly, um, it was more of a decision from Sega Japan to actually have an anime rather than Sega of America. I mean, Sega of America wouldn't dabble in Sonic again in terms of a cartoon until, you know, with Sonic Boom. So there was quite a big gap, really. So I, I don't know. It's just... It's it's kind of ironic that um, the next time that um, uh, Sega of America decides to make a, um, another Sonic cartoon, they get the French involved again. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this time, though, it works a little bit better for them. Uh, Sonic Boom's been pretty decent in terms of the cartoon so far. I mean, it's not a classic, but I mean, it's it's definitely watchable. How would you yeah. see, how would you rate it in comparison to Sonic Underground? Oh, I'll take Sonic Boom every day of the week. Ditto. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of response I was looking for in the sense of, you know, give me a gauge is what I was asking. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, though, compared with what we've been watching here, I'd say Sonic Underground has probably been the least bad, probably alongside the um, He-Man special, because the He-Man special wasn't awful, awful. It was it's... stupid but harmless. I like that. I like yeah, the way that and to be fair, that's kind of what Sonic Underground is. It's it's stupid, it's not got very good songs, it's got some bad ideas, but overall really, it's not really anything to really get too upset about. Yeah. Unfortunately, Sonic Underground doesn't have the penis ship like the He-Man did. 
The oh. <laughs> what? I lost my. I flipped my. I flipped my shit over that. I'm sorry. But I really what? Did. What is that? Okay. You, I don't know if you've actually seen this on when. I don't know if you were actually here for this, Jay, but um, during the He-Man special. Oh, yeah, I was. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to remember. I have that recording on my channel. So, yeah, I was here. I, I didn't. I think I mean, the BJ and Matt were laughing so hard. The man, you said that. I, meant, I didn't hear what you said. I didn't understand what you said. But, yes, I'm going to actually just go ahead and repeat this for anyone who hadn't seen the special uh, in the chat room and for those who may be watching this or listening to this later on and when this gets uploaded to YouTube, but there was a special that we seen, one of the first that we did, where there was a specific ship that uh, uh, oh. looked, looked very phallic. <laughs> I'm going to say that right now. And it... <laughs> um, that's all I'm Looks going to say very phallic. It was very phallic. Yeah. <laughs> He's not joking about this. Yeah. It's... Just, the, it's just the way the uh, hand grabs around it as well, though. That's the <laughs> most disturbing thing of all. That's what makes it so great, though. Is, you know, wow, that's not phallic. And then he grabs it <laughs> to say, wow. That was like the best subtle. part of the show. <laughs> to be fair, it, like, like Sonic Underground, though, apart from the odd bit of stupid or, like, like you say, the phallic, it's just really forgettable. And, you know... I've, oh, I've, speaking of I've, which... Get, I could get angry about Underground, but why? What's the point? It's, uh -huh. It didn't last very long. It was ex and basically a, an experiment from, from basically corporate people that thought they knew about what people wanted from Sonic the Hedgehog, but hadn't actually got the first, you know, clue. So... Yeah, and, and to give... And to give credit, like in the first, to give Ben Hurst a little bit of credit, even though he had to rush the scripts that were in the first, in the three-part origin, he did it, it, it since he knew people wanted set AM, even though he wasn't allowed to, I think Ben said it, 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 he wasn't allowed, of course, to change the premise of the show like Sony or Manic like when he took over as writer, but he did throw in some set AM nods, like, like before Robotnik takes out. When they show before Robotnik takes over or the city, it looks exactly how the city of Sat AM was, and he threw Uncle Chug in as a nod to the Sat AM fans. <laughs> yeah, speaking so of how you, you want you want AM, you want Sat AM, but tough luck, you can't have it. Yeah, it's fun. it's funny because after that Ben Hurt because I think bit after Underground and Ben Hurst did try to push for years to get Sat AM made, but obviously we know we know that nothing came out of that, but which is unfortunate because that's one of those things that it falls under. Don't leave us on a cliffhanger, damn it! Mm -hmm. You know, I also I found another found thing of years with Shim you, so yeah. So oh also, yeah. I also found another thing—a couple bit of trivia here. When you when you mentioned how forgettable it was, I'm 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 going to just say a couple of these two things here. Um, the underground is also we I I think we could had like two of the shows two of the four that we've seen was actually kind of similar but um there's it recycles its own plots uh the hedgehogs meeting a foe pretending to be a friend who winds up actually being a friend could describe at least five different episodes <laughs> and why does that not shock me and funny thing is is that when you mentioned earlier when we were seeing the one where we was joking about the um uh, mario um you know you know references to their blues. yeah uh there's actually an episode here in sonic underground called moby deep which is actually believe it or not i shit you not a recycled super mario brothers super show script uh <laughs> twenty thousand koopas under the sea basically just rewritten to incorporate sonic and his siblings wow yeah i, I don't and know what's worse that they're taking <laughs> that they're scraping from a, the bottom of the barrel of a of a Mario cartoon, you know, Sonic's biggest rival at the time anyway, or the fact oh, that they were digging from, from the bottom of the barrel of just something crappy. And, well, to be fair, uh, was there ever a good Mario cartoon? You know what I mean, though. Well, Mario yeah. 3 was... Di well, I take Mar the Mario 3 cartoon over the Super Show, but... <laughs> Well, Sonic would, new episodes at least. I would rather take the Super Show over Sonic Underground. I am just not. <laughs> and I think well, in that yeah, Moby. To be fair, Super Show is so, sort of that so bad it's funny kind of thing. So yeah. <laughs> and also, I think in that Moby Deep cartoon you mentioned, I think the captain, 
I think they met at, at a Captain AF kind of guy, and I think he's a sea sponge. Oh, the SpongeBob jokes. <laughs> But Does it take part is... under the sea, though? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we best wrap this up, guys. We're going, what, about almost two and a half hours here? Um, More like like two hours, ten minutes from my count, but I'm not really keeping track. <laughs> oh, I see it. Anyway, what's on the docket next week? Oh... Uh... Let me double check that. I don't know if, um, don't actually know that right off the top of my head. Let's uh, see. let me let me pull up the older. Dinner, 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 dinner. I could go for some dinner right about now, <laughs> but I have to go to work at some point too today. <laughs> Uh, I've got to go to there. So I've got. You're doing it. something next. You're doing something next week. Yes, we promise you'll be really. Be, you'll be riffing something. Oh, that I, goes without saying. Well, I wanted to make that stupid joke, so yeah. I know we'll be watching Goldeneye, from, you know, before we go do this again. Um, I do know. I do know that I want us to riff a comic at some point. I really want us to do. I think it's. Is it called Heavy? Not called Heavy Metal. It's called. Oh, it's um. It's a Marvel comic that was based on. They decided to make a comic that they wanted made into a toy. Brute Force. That's it. I really oh. want us to do Brute Force at some time. <laughs> some point. <laughs> oh, uh, just because of the fight between cyber cyber gorilla yeah. versus um oh uh, we don't actually have anything listed now. for next week. No, well, we, we got to pick something. We've got the we've got the suggestion list though. Hang on. Oh just uh, well, let's see. We got Tentacolino. We've got Cartoon All Stars to the Rescue. We've got Jets Ooh. the movie. Uh, we've yeah. got 2009 Astro Boy, the 2013 Lone Ranger, Quest for Camelot, Aladdin and Adventure of All Time. Uh, we actually do have the Super Mario Brothers Super Show list. It has a suggestion. Um, we've got Breadwinners, Teen Titans Go, the Goosebumps TV show, and uh, Beast with the Meal and Backs uh, for Futurama. And outside of that is basically just infomercials, PSAs, and any other G3 special. Well, let me say this. If, if we do Beast with a Billion Backs, just expect me to be like raging throughout because as a huge Futurama nut, that is like the most offensive thing ever to me. So um, <laughs> the, the, I, I would like us to do Breadwinners at some point as well, though, because... I kind of want to do the PSAs uh, next week myself. Why? Yeah, Why not? I mean... Perhaps we should do some smaller PSAs and perhaps do cartoon all stars to the rescue, sort of combine them together because that's oh, just like a yeah, massive that PSA. Sense. Okay. Oh I'll, yeah, we'll that do makes that. sense. Uh, I was going to suggest doing the Super Mario's Brothers Super Show, just you know, has a back to back with the, you know, Sonic Mario rivalry here. But we could do PSAs and. Um, I was thinking that, but it fell under. I just know what's going to happen. We're probably going to be. Um, we're probably going to fall in about the same trap here. We're going to be going. Do you guys care? No. <laughs> so I thought let's mix it up a little bit. But I guess I'll tell you what. Um, so we got PSAs and Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Which one do you guys want? Audience and calls. Um, I really don't care either way, to be honest with you. I'm just going to say that right now. Well, seeing as I've sort of pretty much picked most of them, I think we'll go with the PSAs that you suggest. Okay. So we'll go with, we'll ultimately end with Cartoon All-Stars to the Rescue and um, maybe throw in a few others here and there. All right, guys, it's time to... Yeah, it's uh, supposed to be as age, yeah. Time to smoke weed every day as we uh, tackle <laughs> PSAs. See you next to be week. Fair, it's probably gonna make it's probably gonna make you want to smoke some some joints after watching them. To Why be do fair. you think I said that? <laughs> <laughs> You're special, but but well, that would be the completely young man as a boy if we watch a cartoon all stars of the rescue. <laughs> smoke weed while watching the thing that blindly tells you not to smoke weed. <laughs> Until then, see you next week, everyone. Later, y'all. Later, folks.